Hey guys, it's Rick, and I'm back again for another Silent Sunday, where I was every Sunday watching some silent films and bringing you um, all kinds of great movies that no one talks about anymore. I mean, everyone these days, you know, it's about Marvel films, it's about DC movies, franchises, but I like looking back at that classic cinema that we've just... It's just so overshadowed, and and there's you know, and not many of them left. So this morning, I watched *Beggars of Life*. Uh, this was directed by William Wellman, who is also the um, was the director for *Wings*, who won the the Academy Award for Best Picture, very first Academy Award winner. Uh, released on September 22nd of 1928, uh, stars Wallace Berry, Richard Arlen, and Louise Brooks. And there was actually a sound version, but unfortunately, that version's lost. So, but the and the silent version survived, which is pretty interesting to me. Uh, a couple of people know, like Richard Arlen. Uh, a lot of us would know he was also in Wings, but. You know, I kept thinking, like, where do I know that face? And after doing a little research on it, he was in Island of Lost Souls, which is one of my favorite classic horror films. And Miss Louise Brooks is, um, I first saw her in It's the Old Army Game. And I started doing some research on her. And um, a buddy of mine, Mike, had actually recommended this movie. And I really enjoyed it. Um, so the gist of it, let me is although they don't have names they're just known as the boy and the girl so the girl kills an adoptive parent who's been pawing at her and gets away with the boy which is Richard Arlen and so they're on the run because she, she, she did kill her, her adopted father and uh, they run into a gang of hobos uh, there was a which is one of them's name is Oklahoma Red, who was played by Wallace Berry, and he wants the girl, and he'll do anything to get her. So, uh, got a little bit of action in it. Um, I like the I like the hobo scenes where what with the stuff on the train is a pretty interesting. The hunt down and you know just people trying to get by and trying to live. I mean, it's a good movie. I really enjoyed everything that I saw about it. And um, I was really lucky to find this for five ninety nine at uh, my local McKay's. And another cool thing I like about this, and I think I prefer this art better. Let me show you this. This is the other art with Wallace Berry on it, which I found to be really cool. So, I don't Good job, Kino, on that. But uh, if you, if, this was actually also based on a real hobo's life named Jim Tully. He actually wrote a few books about uh, you know being being a hobo. But it's a fun little movie. Um, got a lot of special features on it. You, you restored from thirty-five millimeter film elements. It's got two audio commentaries. One by William Will Jr. Other by Thomas Gladys, a founding director of the Louise Brooks Society, because the Louise Brooks does have a following, as I found out. There's an essay uh, by Nick Pinkerton, and has you know music store for by the uh, Mont Alto Motion Picture Orchestra, selections from the original 1928 Paramount Q sheet. So that's pretty cool. So I mean, if you're looking for a decent silent film, I would highly recommend this. Yeah. And why it's not I'll have to look and see if it's public domain I don't know if, I think they've gotten to this year yet so, but if you look around on YouTube you can find it or if you hit some second hand stores you may be able to find it I couldn't find this on eBay I really thought I could, I'd be able to find this and for whatever reason this was a hard movie to find like I said I did find a copy of used, but I cannot find it for sale online so it's kind of slipped under the radar you know and it's funny because I'd see it in keynote sales and just passed up on it and I regret that now that I've seen it, and because this is something I want to come back to, I really enjoyed this movie. But, um, alright, guys, that's another silent film. 
Let me, if I can find a trailer, I'll link it. I don't think I, I will be able to find one. But uh, if not, I'll put a clip or something in, in the comments below. Take care, and as always, go watch a movie.